Cuttlefish.com. Oh, no. What, what is Cuttlefish? it? Cuttlefish? He's a cuddler. Cuttle? Cuddle? Cuttlefish? Cuddlest? Fish steak? What's cuddle? Oh. Hey, is this, is this Adam? It is. Hey, what's up, cuz? Welcome to the show, the CEO and founder of what? Is it called the Cuddle It or Cuddlest? Just tell me he's on the air. Cuddlest. You're on the radio doing the yeah. interview now awesome. on the podcast. It's not radio. So listen, talk <laughs> cool. about it. You're doing the um the cuddling and things of that nature. <laughs> Terrible intro. Yeah, so Cuddlist is a platform where you can get trained and certified to be a professional cuddlist, or you can find someone and book a session. Let me ask you something. Is it possible Please for me do. to be a professional cuddle bunny? Oh. Uh, it's not called cuddle bunny, but uh, <laughs> cuddle, a professional cuddlist. Yeah, if you have the ability to have strong boundaries and be present and accept another person uh, for who they are and uh, I'm out. be available to that. <laughs> sure. Absolutely. You can be. When I was a boy, I would cry until someone came in and cuddled me. Does that make me a bad boy? Mm. Yeah, it makes you a human being, I think, right? It makes oh, you a human being. We all have wants, needs, and so sort of <laughs> enjoy physical connection and stuff like that. Let me ask you something, because cuddling's all Please close. Do. And if you want to jump in too, babe, yeah. we got Randy Newman, the singer here. She <laughs> might want to ask hey, you Randy. something. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm, I'm great, <laughs> thank you. What happens if you're cuddling and Mr. Tiddlywing stands up and says, how'd he do? <laughs> yeah, so, That's, you know, yeah. most... Uh, touch that we have in our culture is actually non-sexual and platonic. So, mm, you know, uh, if life. you're in a situation, uh, so first of all, you're not going to put yourself in that situation if you don't want to be there and you'll be screened out. So oh. the people that Ooh. hire what do they do? Check your, are people that... Do they check your pecker and make sure it ain't jumping or put a rubber band on it or something? <laughs> yeah, people can actually exercise a little more self-control than that, right? And if something, if there's a little in. movement, you scoop back an inch or two. It's Down. not the end of the world. Are those right? the boundaries that you were talking about, <laughs> right? Yeah, so it, the boundaries yeah. are, you know, you have to wear at least a shirt and a T-shirt, a T-shirt and a pair of shorts. Uh, nothing, you know, that would be head. covered by a bathing suit is touched. And it's all about giving and receiving comfort and feeling connected to another person. Many of us don't have complete access to human connection in our life. Uh, people, uh, some a people have no access to touch at all, right? They may be disabled paralyzed. or they may have lost wow. a loved one or oh. et cetera, et cetera. Wait, do you and cuddle this is paralyzed a really cool people? thing for them. You gotta clean them first. Yeah, right? we actually do. A lot of our clients are disabled, and uh, if, imagine if you—the only touch you've ever had in your life—is yeah. sort of clinical touch, and then you have someone that's going to be completely present for you, and hold you, and hold space for you, in a non-clinical way. It's very, very powerful. Yo, how can I get me a, a cuddler? Like, can we get a cuddler on Go the to show to cuddle with me on the show. I, you tell me when I will have someone there. Or everyone else, go to cuddlist.com and you, you can do find it? a cuddlist. Can will you, you do it yourself? Can you choose your cuddle partner? Yeah, of course you can. So you go on the site and you uh, can search profiles and see who you're interested in having a session with and then just reach out to them. Oh, that's Absolutely. chill. That's really chill. How much do it cost? Let me ask you something. It's uh, so eighty dollars every... an hour. Okay. Whoa, so Jesus is everybody Christ. is everybody like you. is everybody? Go to the massage parlor, babe. That's vulgar. So the I'm thing is, sorry. Does, I'm I sorry. Does everyone go ahead, Alan? Yeah. So you know, it can be really powerful. So yeah, you know, I get the joke. I come from a, a Jewish family, and I tell people I'm the cuddling person. So I totally get the joke. You know. <laughs> yeah. So you know, I mean, I I, I hear you. I have the, you know, Aunt Lucille like everyone else. What are you doing? Wait, what, what did she say? What are you doing? Yeah, what? What are you doing? What are you, get a job. Why aren't you a lawyer? You know, that kind of stuff. Right. Is there a cuddle so, Hold uniform? on, babe. I love her. More Aunt Lucille. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, having a hard time with her nephew. So. What else did she say? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> what else did she say? She says, truthfully, you know, and well, I have other people in my life that, like, they totally get it, and they're like, like their heart melts and they open up and people that I've spoken to that I've had a professional cuddlist, a session with a professional cuddlist there, they describe just complete bliss and that they've experienced something and a sense of connection that they haven't had in a while. So it's really cool. So when you cuddle, is everybody naked like a bunch of jaybirds in Shiznit? No one's naked. Everyone's got clothes on and everyone's very respectful and they're there for human connection. If you want to, 
you know, have naked cuddling and all that stuff. There's probably plenty of places to get it, but not yep, here. Yeah, my house. Probably. So let yeah, me ask less you than eighty dollars an hour, <laughs> right? Let me ask you something. Is everybody friggin' zoted when they're cuddling, mm-hmm. drunk and whatnot? Right? Is everybody? Is everybody what? Zoted. Like drunk and on fentanyl? Zooted. No, no, you can't have, you can't have any drug article. or alcohol in your system. It's what? totally stone Do you cold. Do drug test people? You get high. So when you cuddle someone and you're physically with someone and you feel good, you, you get high on oxytocin. You get high on a, on a neuropeptide that makes oxytocin, you happy. Oxytocin, is that in your face? Right, it's a bonding hormone. <laughs> really? <laughs> Hold on a second. All kidding really? aside, sure. when's the first time yeah. you knew that you could cuddle like in nobody's business? So I just believe that human connection is, is why we're on this earth, and a lot of us are very disconnected. And to be able to be physically present with someone and to have that experience huh? that many of us take for granted is really powerful. So Lame I wanted to create fruit. that for as many people as possible. What happens if you're cuddling and all of a sudden the dog starts barking? Then the dog starts barking. Could I get go to a cuddle party and crack jokes? I'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> it would be. As long as uh, everyone's in consent with you cracking jokes, you can crack as many jokes as you want. We like funny people. Funny Don't people are cool. Laughter, so. laughter is, you know, the best medicine, oh, along with not. touch and cuddling. Yeah, if you got cancer, yeah, laughter. Better than chemo or, you know, radiation uh, therapy. No, it's not going to replace chemo, oh, but it's... Yeah. What, what'd you give him? Laughter. You know. He died. Yeah. Do you I take insurance? Oh, good idea. Well, we good laugh. They take insurance. I'm sorry, what? Do Does insurance take... cover? No, uh, we... I, my goal is to have insurance cover this because we've had people with um, – we have one client who has uh, Bell palsy oh, who geez. has a session, and he says for the, his, his nervous session, Bell's his nervous palsy. system well, actually re- uh, relaxes. Does, 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 he, does, does, does he get charged only $40 because you only have to cuddle half his body? They're, they're, each cuddle is, uh, you know, we have a lot of cuddlers oh. that give people fighting skills. And we work with veterans and, and a lot of different people that, oh. that, have, that have severe needs. And uh, it's great. It's an amazing. Like Lieutenant Dan? Lieutenant Dan? You can get it. Yeah. So what makes someone a really good cuddler? <laughs> Some, a really good professional cuddlist is someone who can really hold space for someone, Cuddling. someone who can radically accept someone from who they are, oh. see beyond the mask of personality and have strong boundaries, and really just be able to be fully present. How many times in your life is someone actually fully present and available for you for an hour or Every longer? Day. Wow. Never. One time I was yeah, cuddling. Well, you know. One time I was cuddling with Scott at Johannesburg. I had to cut the cheese. Yeah. So I had to make up a story about man. people who was dead under the floorboards. Again, you're the reason I, I love you, and that's great. Do you, so, wow. so maybe Scarlett numbers? Johansson would want to like be cuddled. Maybe someone, oh. maybe like for her not to have to like you know give everyone else attention and just sort of like receive it yeah. without She's having lonely. to worry she about anyone attention. wanting She's something lonely. from her. Maybe kind of cool. Wait, yeah. Chip, were you ever cuddled growing up? Yeah, I was. What happened? I was sleeping one night, and a stranger came in and cuddled with me. <laughs> Where did the stranger come from? I don't know, but I was asleep, and he said, Yeah, we're going to cuddle you oh. under the sheets and oh. dock like the spaceship. Oh. 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 Hey, this, is how, like cuddling, this is how the president's plane refuels in midair. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I can only imagine. Then he shot gas into my plane and left. <laughs> oh, my God. That sounds tragic. I shouldn't have asked. Let me ask you, is it okay to ask strangers if they want to cuddle on the train? So the thing about it is, is when you're actually cuddling, when you actually have a session, you become like, in within a few seconds, you're not a stranger anymore. Because if you're holding someone and you're looking them in the eye and you sort of get past sort of the normal mundane sort of ways of communication, mm. you go really deep into a different space, and it's wonderful. Let's take a look I gotta at this say, so, Can we look at it? Yeah. So what... Uh, I'm sorry, what? No, yeah. I'm at my guy bring up the website. Go so ahead, and ask. Cool. What does it entail? Like, what is cuddling? What? So is there rubbing? That's someone from a broken home. Is there hugging? What is it? What is love? Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> any kind of love. So a cuddle, cuddle a session can look like many different things, but essentially it involves any form of touch as long as it's within the code of conduct. It can involve conversation. It could involve hand-holding. It can involve meditation. It can involve spooning. It can involve Spoon. anything that feels good as long as it's within the code of conduct. And it looks different for many people. So you may need something that someone else oh. wants like something if I, different. If I get a cuddle guy to my house and I'm like, to me, cuddling is when you choke the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> to 
subtle yeah. my larynx. Well, uh, it, so the thing is, the thing is, if it goes to sort of a fetish space, then that's sort of not what we do. Uh, so, thank you. How about if I want to cuddle like with toes on my face? Love, some people love getting their foot rubbed, and it's not a fetish. Some people yeah. have a foot fetish. Uh, so no, if someone thanks. could give me a massage if I wanted to. I could hire a cuddleist to just give me a massage. Well, yeah, I mean, you can hire, again, if it's in the code of conduct and the the cuddlers wants to give you a massage, the thing is, you know, they're empowered to sort of make choices that are best. So if somebody wants to give you a massage as a cuddlers, they they can give you a massage as a cuddlers. Let's book a session. What about about like laundry and windows? Can they invite them over. They can cuddle my windows with some windows. You can have because, uh, you know, if you want to pay 80 bucks an hour to someone do your laundry, I'm sure you can find Wait, what if I want them to cuddle my chandelier <laughs> with cleaning products? Is there a Cuddle Academy? Can I have yeah. a scholarship to it? Yeah, well, like we, have, we have a we, – yeah, cuddlist.com and okay. go to become a cuddlist. We have – we train people. Uh, there's a very serious certification. And, again, it, it's not necessarily so much about – how to cuddle, but it's about boundaries and consent oh. and being fully present for someone. Oh. So no, think about it. That. There are a lot of men out there where you know about the Me Too era, right? Yep. That no. could really no. learn how to have I know about the be, Me Too era. Some boundaries <laughs> and how to accept a no and how to Ooh. learn how to communicate physically without yeah, going hot. into scary, creepy territory. Oh. Who's that? Jeff Goldblum is cuddling so, people? <laughs> I can have a guy cuddle me, or do you have boundaries? Do you keep away from awkward boundaries by having same sex? cuddle parties oh no we have the, the oh, it doesn't really matter about sexual orientation or gender i mean basically there's a human need for physical contact do you so want tyler if, um, to cuddle you <laughs> i want tyler to cuddle her shit i just i think look in new york go, go to new york and find some new york cuddlers i'm gonna it's book me some cuddling interesting <laughs> we have 21 amazing cuddlers in new york wow Come do it i'll hook you up that's i don't want no cuddles. dude cuddling me though feeling up my sides then you don't have to. You, it's, you can ask uh, someone else who's not a dude to cuddle you. Whoa. What's the you difference? You may love it. You may, you, may, you may actually feel wonderful and, like, really sort of in a way you haven't felt in a while. It's like, I know when was the last time you held someone for an hour? Gym. It's amazing. Last time I held someone for an hour, when I caught a criminal one time, I was at Kmart and he was stealing something, so I fucking karate kicked him and did jujitsu. Yeah. That's not really close. Pretty impressive. Thanks. Oh, yeah, Shanna really Marie qualify. is attractive. Sort of, touches oh. her lovely. It's language. aggressive. There's some really hot people on yeah, there. Yeah, touches one of You're the five. Exactly. To... Touches one of the five major love languages. Absolutely. What do you do when you see a baby? You hug the baby. What do you do when you see an old lady? You hug the old lady. If someone, if someone, if someone Take a you may push him down the street. But, you know, if, someone want, if you're with someone, a friend who wants to be comforted, you give them a hug. Hold their hand. Even men handshake because we're so phobic of like touch, but we still give people handshakes and pat them on the back, right? Whoa. So there's touch has been it's 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 pre-verbal communication that's very meaningful. What if that breath smells? Mm. Well, there's a code of conduct that mint. you got to be clean. Code of conduct. No, no, br- sure. no bad smelling people allowed. Probably ask for a discount. Yeah, that's true. Any more? Knock a few bucks off. How about yeah. a trained cuddleist and a certified cuddleist? What's the difference? Oh, God, good cheaper? question, babe. Talk to you. A, train, a trained audio. cuddleist went through our training and is qualified to have sessions. A certified cuddleist goes through additional training and they get another color, like, little seal thing okay. um it means they have more hours doing it it's sort of like the difference between a 200 hour Dude, trained Danny. yoga teacher <laughs> oh versus a 600 hour it. trained Sorry. yoga Your teacher disappear. <laughs> <laughs> okay so i want to be a cuddlist and i'm not messing with you cool. i'm also a sober companion awesome. so i know all about boundaries so awesome. i would love Perfect. a scholarship if you'd be willing to give you one you can think about it i would i would i would be happy to give you one if you're able oh to offer God. love and support and kindness to other people <laughs> I'd yeah. be happy to. And in yeah. fact, most of our cuddlists are sort of, they're already in the wellness professions. They're like, okay. uh, you know, doulas or massage therapists or Reiki practitioners or empaths or, you know, all, any What's they're, a doula? They're sort of Someone who fights with a sword? To, to the... So if I were a doula, could I get extra if I actually help someone deliver a baby if they went into labor while I was cuddling them? <laughs> I'm going to grant an exception. Absolutely. You can get paid extra. If in a cuddling really? session, you deliver a baby. Hot cuddlers. How do you know these people, <laughs> these fine uh, cuddlers, aren't going over there and uh, maybe getting murdered by somebody? Hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a screening process. So, you know, how many times do massage therapists or personal trainers people go to people's houses, right? It's, That's true. It's, you know, Never. how many we have Airbnb and Uber, you know? Have you ever had any problems where people uh, were. Uh, not uh, there to have a cuddle session, but, you know, 
Maybe. Uh, no, not maybe. only have we not had a problem, but one of the most amazing things, especially older men, you know, men in their fifties and their sixties, it's like they don't under, you know, this whole consent culture is very foreign to them. So it's, I mean, let me search for a second. So to be in a situation where you ask and you receive a yes or a no, and you learn rules of consent, a lot of men don't know how to. They don't want to be a creep. They just don't know how to not to be a creep. Word. So imagine they get to practice this. You know what I'm saying? Do so you, listen, you, you can get it for eighty oh. bucks. In New York, it's pretty good. There's a lot of really attractive cuddlers. I'm going to book me a session. Maybe we'll get one in, next week in, in studio, and I'll do some cuddling, okay. then we'll see. Oh, lovely. Sounds yelling? great. That sounds perfect. I'd love to do that cuddle. for you. I'm going to pick me a fly cuddler. <laughs> wow. Get you the best cuddlist out there. Master cuddlist. Absolutely. All right, cool. Uh, Listen, man, I appreciate it. What's your website again? You're a good egg. Cuddlist.com. C-U-D-D-L-I-S-T.com. Um, check us out. And thank you. And, and again, I'm a huge fan of yours. And I had, I had a lot of fun. So thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Chippy make fans. And believe me, a plug from the <laughs> chipper is your reward. Oh, nice. Oof. Go get yourself some cuddles, ladies and germs. All right, look. Peace out. All right, Alan. There he goes. Alan. Peace out. Thank you so much. It's Adam. Adam. <laughs> <laughs>